my dear colleagues, it's not the first time we've had to debate Hungary. And first of all, I would like to turn directly to the citizens of Hungary and send out a message. We are not simply meddling in domestic issues in your country. Civil rights and the rule of law, I don't know how you see this, but that is the very heart of the European project. I'm saying this as a German, a German and a European, because I believe that if we just make these empty words for the European Union and do not keep on uh, making it real, implementing it, then we are we are giving up on the very core and essence of the European project. And that's the just relationship between you and Europe. Um, but Mr. Uh, do we keep hearing about that in statements by uh, and claims by Mr. Sire here and by Mr. Orban. You know, you just look at the, the idea that we are just meddling in Hungary's internal affairs. Well, politically, uh, it's uh, d d it's a handy thing to say, but it's 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 not the r reality. I don't know if the people in Budapest are there can hear us. Uh, I don't know whether they can feel that there is a breakdown in uh, the uh, uh, rule of law and civil rights uh, in Hungary. That the, the the media are being mainstreamed. We have a media law. I hope that people can find ways to really hear what we are saying. Miss Redding, I'm really sorry to hear that the, our colleagues in the EPP group simply cannot find the courage to, to apologize for what their colleagues in Hungary are doing and saying about you. You're the only one in the Commission that is trying, with the instruments available to you, to do something about this uh, breakdown of the rule of law. And then you get your so-called uh, fellow members of your party in Hungary who are insulting you, throwing uh, mud, slinging mud at you. We've got people, other people like Mr. Ferber from Bavaria. They find this uh, acceptable. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know the infringement procedures haven't produced any result. It's, you know, it shows just how helpless the Commission is and how helpless we are. In July... Uh, we voted on a, a report on Hungary, oh sorry, we will be voting on uh, a report on Hungary and then we've got to show with a big majority that we are the European uh, Union want to arm ourselves against what's happening in Hungary and prevent it from happening in other uh, countries. We've got to have respect for the rule of law and civil rights. We're going to need a big majority so that Commission and Council can deal with this in a different way. Uh, and let me say to you as well, many, many of our citizens and constitutional law specialists simply don't understand why we have been talking endlessly about this for two years now, about what's happening in Hungary, and we simply cannot decide how to deal with it. And that it would seem logical to go for Article 7, but, you know, this is, is this the nuclear option? But, you know, without that, there's nothing that we can do. Thank you for your attention.